Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading. So let's just hop straight into it, okay? Okay, guys, ancestors of mine of the highest white light, give me some messages here for my YouTube channel, please, and thank you. All right, divine family. Look like right now, the current energy is that you're standing in your power here. You're in your divine feminine energy and you're standing in your power. You're very strong at this current time. You're very well balanced. You're fierce. You're a fighter. You're a warrior. You have been through a lot, but you're still standing strong here. You're still loving like you've never been hurt. You ain't looking like what you've been through. You're still loving, but at the same time, people know that with this warrior energy, that they, that they can't mess with you like that. They can't try to play with you. Rather, you're very beautiful. And I also feel like if you all have any type of spiritual gifts, they have increased. Wow, collective, this is beautiful energy. You got a king of pentacles that's wanting to come in towards you. Y'all, you have a very, very, very smart, ambitious, beautiful man coming towards you, y'all. That, that's his energy. He's smart wise this is somebody that can teach you things here very um affectionate and very balanced as well because the energy that i'm getting from you all is very balanced so this person is very balanced as well i don't feel like when you first meet this person he looks like the affectionate type or he looks like the type of person that's like this romantic and and nurturing and things like that especially with him being this king of uh pinnacles i feel like he come he could come off as oh he think he all that but no with with you you see a different side from this person. He's very loving, very sweet, very affectionate. But he, he has like this type of um, military demeanor. He's very hardworking. He loves nice things. This is somebody here, y'all, that's going to make sure that you have everything that you want and need and you do not have to go to nobody else um, for anything here, y'all. A very, very, very beautiful energy coming from the both of you all. You and this King of Pentacles here. This person could be learning about manifestation. Now, I don't know if you taught this person about uh, manifestation or this is something that this person is just learning on his own but 
it's like he, he's been manifesting the life that he wants. And I feel like because your person, uh, because he says he's he's very devoted to philanthropy, he's very devoted to God. And because of this, God is blessing this man. It's like he's going to have everything that his heart desires because he's doing right by God. And he's also giving back. He's not greedy. He's not selfish. Y'all, this is a very, very, very... Um, good man here that's coming into your life. And this is something, y'all, that's about to happen sooner than later with this Knight of Swords. This is something that's getting ready to happen fast. This person is very confident to come towards you too because he's so balanced. Everything is, is, is going so well in his life. He's emotionally balanced. He's financially balanced. Okay, spiritually. He has a very great heart, y'all. Y'all, this man got a heart of gold. He could be great with his hands. Somebody here could be an event planner, an engineer, a designer, some type of builder, architect. Uh, somebody here could be in the military. I'm getting somebody that's very, very great with their hands. Your person is very wise. But the same warrior energy that I said that you have, this person has this warrior energy too. This person definitely could have went through um, a spiritual transformation, a rebirth there. But your person have a more structured life. But this is a great man. Okay. And he's going to make sure that you're happy and you're satisfied here. But you deserve it, Divine Feminine. You deserve it. You deserve this. You deserve this type of love from this person. Y'all, on this picture, this woman hand right here, it's like it's glowing. It's like you got a lot of fight in you, but in a good way. It's like you don't give up. You're the type of person where you don't give up. You keep going. Like no matter... If don't nobody believe in you, whatever it is, you keep going. You're the type of person that you strive for excellence. You're not a quitter. You know your worth. This person know that you know your worth. So he know that he got to come on with it. He know that he have to give you the best because you know your worth so he know he can't breadcrumb you he know he can't just give you no anything because you're not gonna accept that it's like some of the things that you all have been through divine feminine the average person would have threw in a towel and they would have given up. They would have stopped, but that's not you. You're going to keep thriving. You're going to keep going. You're going to keep pushing. And I feel like it's, it's very inspiring. You inspire this person. 
Because no matter what's going on in your life, you keep going. I'm telling you, even if don't nobody believe in whatever it is that you're doing, you're going to keep going. It's a very balanced energy. I feel like right now, Divine Feminine, you all are so happy at this current time in your life. It's like everything is falling into place for you. Things hasn't, hasn't always been so easy for you. But that's what make it so beautiful now. It's because you got through all of these things. And it's like now you're getting everything that you want. Everything that you pray for. Because you're obedient to God. Because you're patient. Because you're loyal. Because you're faithful to God. He is blessing you with everything that you could have ever wanted at this current time. Y'all, yeah, why I'm getting up? <laughs> Why I just hear that song? Uh, mean as a pit bull, but sweet like candy. Ain't that uh, y'all? Ain't that uh, Webby? I'm not a big rap person, but that's kind of like what I'm getting, and it's not mean in a bad way. Okay, what I'm getting is you're like this queen of swords, right? Because you have been through a lot of things in your life. And maybe at one point you were this sweet, sweet person, but very kind of gullible and kind of naive a little bit, y'all. Okay, um, everybody is good in the world. There's no bad in the world. Everybody is good. I can trust everybody. I can love everybody. Which is, you certainly can love everybody. You can even love an enemy. Because you don't have to be like everybody else. But um, I feel like because of the way that you were, people definitely tried to take your kindness for weakness a lot. And because you were so kind... I feel like people did play with you. You know what I'm saying? Like like a pushover or they can say or, or do anything. And that's why you're in this warrior energy now. Because you're like, baby, I, yes, I am nice and loving. Nobody will ever take that away from me. But you will not play with me, though. I am not who I used to be. You cannot play with me like that. Okay. And that if, if you kind to me, I'm going to be kind to you. But, baby, if you try me, we're going to go there. We're going to take it there. Okay? Because I don't play about me. God don't play about me, and I don't play about me either. Okay? So, that's kind of like how you are here. All right? But I feel like this person loves that about you. Because it's like you're so nurturing and so kind. But when you get in that mode, people know not to play with you. You know what I'm saying? It's like sexy. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know why that's like sexy to this person. You're not a pushover, but you're very sweet and very kind. Okay, like I'm like you got this toughness. Okay. <laughs> I 
Y'all are also very wise. You're very smart as well. Y'all, y'all third eyes on a thou out right now. You're very gifted. And like I said, your gifts could be increasing at this current time. Because this woman's forehead is glowing like it's light. Y'all, your person, your divine mask of their eye could be opening as well. This person could be out in nature. He could love nature. He's very balanced. Yeah, he could have been working hard on himself, y'all. He could have been working hard to just balance things out in his life here. Okay, because right after this Eight of Pentacles, you got the chariot right here. So anything that this divine masculine could have been dealing with, whether it was mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, whatever, this person has definitely overcame that. He's not dealing with any kind of struggles, any kind of battles right now. He's very well balanced at this current time. You know, the chariot is all about victory, balance. Yeah, I feel like your person could be uh, very well known. A lot of people look up to your person. He's very smart, very successful, all right? Very confident, very determined. But I do feel like at one point, this person had some type of struggles. And even if you look at him and you couldn't tell, he did. And maybe you all knew it. Maybe you all knew it, but you never gave up on this person. You still love this person, even though you knew that he was struggling with something. But it's showing that he has definitely balanced things out in his life. Or he's balancing things out in his life. I feel like in the past, your person could have been a little arrogant or he could have had a, a big ego or very prideful. But whatever it is that he has been through, when it comes to his finances, I feel like it has humbled him. I feel like he, he his ego has died. Because this is a king of pentacles. This is somebody, y'all, that people look up to. This is somebody, y'all, that I feel like is very well-known, popular, or something like that. And he could get a lot of attention, especially because of the money, the success that he had. And at one point, it kind of fell a little bit. But maybe that happened so this person could be a little bit more humble here. And I'm seeing that whatever it is happening with his, his pinnacles, with his money, He, he is more humble now. So he's he's more aware of how he treat people, how he speak. How he treats himself. He's different now. So whatever lessons he have went through has definitely humbled your person. And he's very loving and very kind, very nurturing, very respectful. He's different. And he's also realizing what's important. This situation helped him see things clearly.
He also can be investing into a lot of things at this current time as well. I feel like your person is trying to do different things so he won't work as hard because I feel like your your person could have been definitely stressed a little bit because it was work, 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 work. Because it says work smart. Your person is realizing uh, he can still make the money that he want to make. He just got to work a little bit more smarter. Okay. Because I feel like your person life revolved around work, his money, things like that. So he's realizing money is not everything. Your person was missing love out of his life. And I feel like your person didn't realize what love really was until he met you. You showed this person what true love is. You softened this person up a lot, y'all. People could be looking at this person like, wait a minute. I don't think I ever seen you like this before. You're glowing. Your person definitely could be glowing at this current time because he's so happy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all love will do that. Love will have you glowing. You hear me? And your person is glowing. Ever since you've been in this person's life, it's like he have this beautiful glow about himself. Yeah. Aww. Whatever it is that... that your person was going through. God has definitely um, been blessing your person and turning things around here with this Ace of Pentacles. A lot of success, more success. So it's like your person doesn't have to work hard anymore. It's like everything comes easy. Your person could be meditating. He can be uh, reciting like mantras and things like that. He could be reading a whole lot. He could be reading his Bible a whole lot. So it's like money comes easy to him now. A lot of success, everything. Everything that he's doing now is going to be gold. Like, it's going to be very prosperous. But a lot of wealth for your person, okay? Even more than he had before because he has surrendered and he has given his life to God. He's loyal. He's obedient. And, y'all, I feel like your person... Your person has a strong intuition as well, and he could be realizing that. Yeah, things are turning around for your person after he dealt with maybe a possible unemployment, loss of home, some type of financial problems. But that's because he has turned his life around. And he has removed people, places, and things that just no longer serve him anymore. And I honestly feel like it took for him to be in this five of pentacles energy to see the true colors of people that has been in his life for a long time. This struggle or whatever this is helped him remove people out of his life. Y'all, it's a lot of passion between you and this man. It's a lot of chemistry here. I feel like you all are very connected with water. So I don't know if you all going to be going to the beach. 
because both of these people in this picture, they're in the water. Like they're in the water. Y'all, why am I getting uh you or your person could be getting baptized or something, or you all can be going to uh a river or something like that and like cleansing or I don't know. I don't know if you all have already done that or this is something that somebody is thinking about because y'all, why did I get the Jordan River? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm getting that. Okay. So like I said, that could be something somebody is thinking about like a, uh, what is it called y'all? where you go on a like vacation, but it's like for healing. So I'm just going to say a healing vacation. I feel like this person could want both of you all to do that. Because now both of you all, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like you all big on healing, promoting healing and things like that. And like I said, you all are very connected with water. It's something that you or your person want to do. But yeah, y'all, y'all got amazing chemistry here. And I feel like even though you all both were dealing with something um, hard in y'all lives, and it could have been the same or it could have been different, but the chemistry never died out. The passion never died out. And I feel like neither one of you all ever like found anybody that can make y'all feel like you do. He didn't find anybody to make him feel like you do. And you didn't find anybody that makes him, that make you feel like how he make you feel. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful energy coming from the both of you all. It's so much love, respect, gentleness y'all are very gentle with each other very patient with each other y'all that's what I feel like your person love you have a lot of patience because even in times where your person couldn't get it right you never gave up on this person you never belittled him I do feel like you were very honest But you spoke out of love. Y'all, it, it kind of gives me like, y'all, because I, why I just seen like a check engine light? <laughs> y'all know how you can have a car, right? Or a truck or whatever. Just because the check engine light come on don't mean that you got to go out and get a new car, right? You just got to see what the problem is and fix it and as good as new. Because a car don't have to be extremely old for the check engine light to come on, right? It's just a little problem, but it can be fixed. Y'all, this is how you are with your person. You knew that your person was dealing with something emotionally, mentally, spiritually, financially. And I feel like your person knew that you knew, but you were patient with this person. So just like that car, that truck with that check engine light, right? It can be fixed. That's just like your person. Him being fixed is him healing. So your person started to heal and you were patient. You, I don't feel like you went out and tried to get anybody new because your person was dealing with something. Now, I don't feel like you waited like a sitting duck, but I feel like you focused on yourself, your own healing. You know what I'm saying? And the things that you needed to do. But at the same time, you realize like, look, everybody has things that they go through in life. And you all were very patient. And you never judged him. And you continue to send your person love, 
light and healing energy. And your person loves you for that. You know, I don't feel like your person has ever met anybody as patient as you. You're very nurturing. That's that, that's that queen of cups energy. Very nurturing. Yeah. This person is, is, is in love with you. He's in love, y'all. He's in love. He's in love. Okay? Look, I'm telling you. Oh, my God. Y'all, at one point when this person walked away from you for whatever reason, and I really feel like it was because he was trying to figure his life out, figure out what he really wanted, balance his emotions, fix things financially or mentally or spiritually, whatever it is. It hurt him walking away from you. But he knew that it was something he needed to do. Because he didn't want to hurt you while he was trying to figure out his life. So your person want to apologize because he feel like he could have messed things up at one point. Because he felt like you deserve more or you deserve better. But now that your person has been healing and, and balancing things out in his life. It's like, baby, I'm sorry. I released you because I felt like you deserved more. You deserve so much better than what I was giving you or able to give you at the time when I was at a low place, when I was going through something. But now that he's balancing things out, he want to be there for you. He want to love you correctly. He want to give you his all and he definitely want to apologize it says, I'm so in love with you. You are so perfect to me. Collective. When your person decided to walk away or whatever, it wasn't because he didn't love you. Your person is in love with you. He always did. You have always really been perfect to this person. He was just battling things in his own life. And he didn't want to take you down with him. Or he didn't want to have one of those hard days where he lash out at you because he didn't have an outlet at the time and you're there to catch whatever it is he's dealing with. So it's like, let me not be selfish and let me let her go right now. If it's meant to be, it'll be. But your person is in love with you. It was nothing that you did. It was not you. Look, I love you today, tomorrow, and always. I was just a fool for not admitting it earlier. So your person love you. He always loved you. But at one point, he didn't admit that to you. He didn't tell you. And I feel like that was something that you really wanted to hear from your person. But I feel like he held back because it was so many things that he was dealing with. It's like if I even if I tell her that I love her, I'm not ready to be with her. So I'm just going to keep it to myself. And that's what he did. He just held it. He held it in and kept it to himself. Well, now he want to admit it to you. But he feel like he should have at least told you how he felt. Because I feel like when you walked away or he or he let you go, you felt like he didn't care. But he did. So that's one of the things that he wished that he would have did differently was tell you how much he he care about you and he love you and how much you really mean to him. But collective, it says, I love you today, tomorrow, and always. So this person will always love you. All right. But that is all I have for you all. I hope that this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. God love you, and I do too. Bye, y'all.